Let's put this polycarbonate eye protection to the ultimate test. <laughs> okay, let's start with the beginning. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. So you guys like more safety. So let's test those safety uh, goggles that you can buy uh, when you use airsoft guns. But I'm not going to test it out while I'm wearing them. So we are going to use Bob and it's Bob with a P. So uh, you stay right here, Bob. And we're gonna test it out with a lot of guns. We've got airsoft and air guns and if everything fails I'm gonna use my blank gun with an open barrel uh, but the glasses will fall off when I shoot it or even touch it so let's fix that that's probably because he doesn't have any ears so let's give him some right here okay get ready Bob Oh my god. I'm sorry, Bob. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bob. You're just amazing. Even though you're dead, you still have a sense of humor. Okay, Bob. It's time to test out your new safety glasses. Oh, yes. They fit perfectly. Okay, and we are going to use a lot of different guns. So let's start with the airsoft guns. First, my semi-automatic Colt 1911 from Hitman. So this uses green gas and six millimeter plastic BBs. These are the BBs we are going to use. I think three shots with every gun will be fair and I'll be shooting from five meters away. Alright, let's inspect. I will always be shooting on the left side first. Um, nope, no damage whatsoever. Okay, it seems like we need to kick it up a notch. Of course, every now and then you want to knock it up a notch with a blast from your spice weasel. Bam! Bam! With my Resident Evil Beretta. This also uses green gas and 6mm plastic BBs. This beautiful gun shoots about 250 FPS. Alright, you ready Bob? Yeah. Alright, let's inspect. Um, nope, still nothing. Okay, still not enough, so we need something with even more power. Every now and then you want to knock it up a notch with a blast from your spice weasel. Bam! Bam! My Desert Eagle. This is my most powerful semi-automatic airsoft gun. It also uses green gas and 6mm plastic BBs. This shoots about 350 FPS. Okay, let's see. Yeah, still absolutely fine. Okay, let's try one point blank.
<laughs> okay, let's see. Mm, yeah, unbelievable. Still absolutely fine. So the Desert Eagle didn't cut it. So let's try my most powerful airsoft gun. Of course, every now and then you want to knock it up a notch. Bam! Bam! When semi-automatic pistols aren't powerful enough, you need to go to revolvers because these don't have a slide that needs to go back and forth, which uses gas and that will result in a lower FPS. So this is my Colt Python from The Walking Dead and it uses CO2 capsules and these shells and, and these will fit 6mm plastic BBs. The CO2 capsule goes in here like so. You can stop turning when the sissing stops. So you don't damage the seal. And then we put the plastic BB in here. And then we load up the shells. So this gun has a peak of 500 FPS, but the average is about 450. Wow, it still hasn't broken yet. Uh, let's take a closer look. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can feel something. Yeah, do you see it? Right here? Yeah. Three little bumps in there. But it still didn't crack it. Okay, let's try it point blank. All right, now let's try one in super slow motion. <laughs> the glasses almost flew off. So let's see. Oh, wow, these are some very big. Uh, dents in there. Let's feel the other side. Oh, I can actually feel it on the other side as well. Ugh. Okay, let's step it up again. Oh, yeah, bam it again. I was I knock it up another notch. What if some crazy fool uses six millimeter aluminium BBs? These weigh 0 0.30 gram. So this aluminium BB is not much heavier than the plastic BB, but it's much harder. So I'm very curious to see what would happen. Okay, get ready, Bob. This might hurt a little bit. All right, let's see. Oh, wow. It didn't penetrate it. It didn't even crack it. So we have about the same damage as the plastic BB. Wow, very, very impressive. But can it handle the aluminium BB point blank? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it hit me right in the head. Okay, are the glasses still fine? And they are, wow, absolutely amazing. But what if someone uses steel BBs? These weigh almost one gram, so they're very heavy and the FPS will be a lot lower, but they do a lot of damage from a short distance. Whoa, I can't believe that. The glasses are still in one piece. That's absolutely unbelievable. Okay, let's try one point blank. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I can't believe it. I actually missed from point blank and it did penetrate the skull. That's something that the uh, plastic BBs cannot do. <laughs> so let's try that again. This is absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe that these glasses are not shattered yet. Wow. Okay, let's try something else. Oh yeah, bam it again, I was like, uh, knock it up another notch. Bam. Bam. It's time for my Colt Peacemaker. This is a Colt single action revolver. This means that you always have to pull the trigger in order to fire it. So it doesn't have double action. And this is what double action is. When you pull the trigger, it fires the gun. You cannot do that with a single action revolver. You always need to cock it first. Also a big difference, this is an air gun, not an air soft gun like this one. So that means it uses 4.5 millimeter steel BBs and not six. There's one in there so you can see the difference. And it also uses CO2 capsules. And with this revolver, the BBs go in the back of the shell. And I really like that they made it like the real one. So you have to open it, cock it half, and then you can move the cylinder to load the gun. This really adds to the immersion and it makes all the right clicks and clacks when you load it. This really is my most fun revolver that I have. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Normally 4.5 millimeter steel BBs break everything. Wow. This is probably made out of polycarbonate, which is very strong. Uh, it did break this piece of plastic here, uh, just from the impact. Okay, I have enough of this. Let's try point blank. <laughs> wow, the glasses almost flew off. But still, the glasses are not cracked. Only very small dents. And yes, you can feel them all on the other side. So, um, I am going to try one more desperate attempt. And if that doesn't work, I am going to use my blank gun. Alrighty then, it's time for my most powerful air gun revolver, my Smith & Wesson from Dirty Harry. This also uses 4.5mm steel BBs and CO2 capsules. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> and still we don't have any penetration! Okay, we're done playing. I'm gonna use my blank gun with an open barrel and I've also glued the braces so it doesn't fall apart from the blast. So I hope you're ready, Bob. If not, hold on to your socks. Oh, right, you don't have any feet. Okay, so first I'm gonna use a normal blank round to see if the blast can shatter those indestructible glasses.
UK Bob. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, ooh, it's uh, it's pretty rough right now. So it did something, but it didn't shatter. And Bob seems to be okay. Okay, now let's try a blank round with a pellet in there. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that did it. Uh, the glasses are completely shattered and uh, let me see if I can find the uh, lens here yeah here we have it so uh, we have an entry here but do we have an exit mm, maybe maybe let me check on Bob Bob are you okay he's not responding he's uh, one meter away uh, Ooh. Yeah, we got an entry, so Bob is dead. And we have an exit. That one was already here. The shot went a bit a bit up high, so it must be this one. This looks like an exit hole, yeah. Wow, this blank gun is uh, pretty powerful. No, I actually want to see what a hammer would do. Okay, let's try that a bit harder and in slow motion. Okay, let's try that again, but this time with the pointy end and in super slow motion. Okay, this material really is pretty much indestructible. But I also have to give some credit to these glasses. They were way stronger than I had anticipated. Um, so if you want to buy them, this is the brand. And they only cost 10 bucks.